Hi, I'm Elmer. And I'm Vanita. I want to welcome you to Front Porch Friday. Uh, this past week on our page we've been talking about uh, Front Porch Friday is going to be a hot topic and of course by the pot of boiling water here you can see it is actually going to be a hot topic. <laughs> um, for the most part if you live in the northern hemisphere of the earth you're going to wind up dealing with cold and snow. Mm -hmm. Of course it's the fall around here and of course we were talking about with what's going on in the world um, that you, we may experience things such as power outages and I think we always do on um, Thanksgiving Day. Yes. Right, in, right in the middle of cooking it, power yes. goes out, never fails. So, you know, maybe power goes out, it's snowing. You got your house, you're using one of these uh, Buddy portable heaters right here. And you got your house with your fireplace, your Buddy heater, you got your downstairs, your home, um, to about a nice 65 degree uh, temperature. We had it just kind of cold. Your day two, your sleeping bags, your bedding that you're using is cold. You know, it's gotten cold during the day. You, of course, you know, you don't want to get into it. And years ago, they used to have things called water bottles. Um, you could boil water on a stove, pour it in a water bottle, and throw it in the bed with you, throw it under the covers, <laughs> and it would heat, heat it up. Right. right. Long time ago. Long time ago. So, <laughs> you know, print things change they don't make things that they used to anymore they're really hard to find you can probably find them on Amazon uh, today we're going to use a little bit substitute that you may have in your house you may not be able to go out and buy one of these things that allow you to um, or buy, buy a wa um, hot water bottle to get it you know they may not carry them to the local store so uh, this is one of our 30 ounce orca bottles uh, we do have them for sale mm -hmm. um, they do hold hot and cold, so um, what I'm going to do is just kind of show you um, what how to do it. So you basically would take the lid of the bottle off, um, as you can see, and get this um, piece of paper out of here with a sticker, um, of course, inside. And what you want to do is, um, I will, I'm going to move it back and over here, and um, hopefully not spill this on us. Okay, so not a bad pour, not a bad pour, not a bad pour. So now, um, as you can see, I poured the boiling water in this uh, stainless steel tumbler and put the lid on it. Um, now, of course, shaking it up, you see there's no way that it can spill out. There's no leaks. So basically, as we're sitting here, this bottle will actually heat up um, and get warm. Uh, one of the things that you can do is... Um, you definitely don't want to use this bottle where it, the boiling water can get warm and burn you. So one of the things is you put the boiling water in, you can wrap this in a t-shirt, wrap it in a thin sheet, or even a pillowcase. And just like the old hot water bottles, you didn't want to use them direct, you know. So that's one of the things that, you know, you don't um, definitely do. Uh, Vanita's going to talk about some of the other options. You may be in your vehicle, maybe on the side of the road that you can't... Um, can't um well can't boil water i mean you know it may be snowing it may be raining and trying to start a fire in the snow and at the boil water to keep warm is just not really very practical okay well these are called mega warmers and these are hand warmers they also have uh feet warmers also that you can put in your socks and your shoes and keep your feet warm but these you can put in your gloves keep your hands warm um you know just I, I keep these in you know in in the truck you know just in case something happens or even if you're out and about if you're hunting if you're at a football game or something like that these will keep your hands warm and also another thing that she has here um, is a microfiber blanket mm -hmm. um, wool is probably the best um, blanket that you can get as far as you know heat retention but if you're such as uh, myself or some of our family members have eczema, wool can be quite quickly irritate it. Yes. <laughs> so what you could do is you could put a microfiber blanket <sighs> over you and then probably put the wool blanket over you if you wanted additional layers. Mm -hmm. um, the nice thing about the microfiber, they kind of do wick moisture away. They are hypoallergenic, so they do allow you to keep it, um, keep it, you know, from getting irritated when you're out there. So mm -hmm. just a few of the options that you have, there shouldn't be a reason that anybody freezes to death, really. Right. I mean, 
if you don't have all this or you have health issues and the power's out, uh, most municipalities will start a warming shelter. Yeah. You know, definitely go to the warming shelter, definitely have a plan, maybe go to a family member's house that does have power, you know, or does have a place of getting warm. And That's right, and we still hear about it happening, like the elderly freezing to death. So if you have any elderly in your neighborhood, be sure that you check on them. And you know, that's good. that's a really good point. Yes. So you know, check on that. And even you know, your neighbor, elderly neighbors, maybe your neighbor across the street that's a single, you know, single mother, single father, you know, mm -hmm. maybe a single individual, you know, they may turn around and try to rough it out and wind up, you know, that's what happened in Texas. A lot of families tried to rough it out and they were down south so that you know texas don't really get our kind of weather up in the northern region here but they definitely got hit pretty hard a couple years ago yes, they did. and you know so a lot of those deaths were preventable if people um would turn around and kind of practice or keep some of this stuff here practice you know being smart with it you know mm -hmm. disasters are going to happen it's just not a matter of if it's a win yeah. and you want to be prepared so you know, I hope you kind of enjoyed it. Um, this bottle's gotten kind of looked quite a bit warm, too. Yes, it did. So, you know, just want to say thanks for watching and stay healthy and, and stay, stay blessed. blessed.